in this video, I'll be showing you how to develop the furniture layout for our plan. That is to put in place the various furniture and, and sanitary appliances that we'll need for use in the various rooms. So I'll start with the lounge and the dining area. And here we'll need to have some table and chairs for the lounge and a table and chairs for, for the dining room. So that is accessible by going to design. So we'll go to design, uh, architectural tools. Then under architectural tools, I'll activate the object tool by clicking on it. Then click on the settings dialog for the object tool. For object. Here we have a search entry or this search bar we are, which tells us uh, Akkad is waiting for a search entry. For the sitting room, I want to look for some furniture layout for that. So let's say furniture. Search for furniture. So it's furniture like that. I'll get these uh, chairs, bed layouts. I'll get chair layout. I'll get this dining table rectangle, dining table round. So let's say we use this dining table round for for the dining. Well, click to place that there. Get back to settings dialog and continue looking for the sofa which is this sofa layout 25 select that and then click to place on your keyboard click to select control e for rotation so i want to rotate this on that plane by 90 degrees control d and drag it to position like that so that's where we'll have the chairs. This dining uh, of ours is going to move a bit towards that side. So the dining. So the dining, I want to select the text. Dining is there. So move the text a bit towards that side. So if you look at the plan we have, already we have now, uh, tables and chairs for the lounge tables and chairs table and chair for for the dining room let's move to the kitchen area in the kitchen area here we want to have a worktop and i'll designate that by use a line tool so under uh, the document documenting tools i'll activate the line tool change this pen to number one then the width of this worktop is supposed to be 600 millimeters. It's going to extend up to there. I'm going to move this uh, window downwards by let's say 100. Like that. So this extends up to here. Then we have another one. Joining. So we trim those lines and trim these lines as well and we'll have let's say shift uh, move drag a copy up to there then draw a line that way and so that's the layout of the worktop in the kitchen we have this uh, storage space here so I'll designate this using a line so here we have a cupboard at this point. Here we have general worktop. So for that worktop, we are going to have uh, what will we have a sink. So search for sink. Say so we'll have that sink. This is okay. Double double kitchen sink. Uh, place this where? Where do you place that? Let's say we have sink there. And then for cockpits, search for cook, built in cockpits, place them here. So we'll be cooking from that point where we have this. Let's position them accurately like that. So we have cockpits there. Move them a bit towards the left side. Then 
control e like that then rotate this sink that way and place it here so that's where we have the sink when you are washing utensils you are looking to the outside like that so we are done with the the kitchen let's move to bedroom number one so for bedroom number one all we need is is um, a bed so back to settings dialog for the object tool and search for bed you're going to get let's say furniture on the on the bed layout this one 25 okay so that is going to be part of bedroom one bedroom uh, two and the master bedroom so i place them there select these two control m is for mirror so i'll mirror them towards those areas so like that control d allowing me to move uh, that bed towards the wall so select that bed uh, right click choose to drag i'll also drag this to that point so we have beds for a uh, master bedroom and bedroom number two and then i'll also have to move this towards that point let's say control or right, right click and i move choose rotate sorry right click move choose rotate then you rotate it like that control d for drag drag it to position here so that's our bedroom one bedroom two bedroom three let's put in place some built-in wardrobes so i'll designate that with the just a wall so back to the wall tool draw a wall here 600 millimeters like that then i'll draw another wall here 600 millimeters So like that, we'll have a wall here towards that side by 600. Then select them, go to the settings dialog, choose thickness to 100, that is under geometry and positioning, under floor plan settings. And uh, let's look at cut surfaces, we have override cut fill pens, set as none. Click on this arrow and set as both. And then change the cut fill foreground pen for that to be pen 1 and the background pen to be 1. Click on OK and you'll see those adjustments appear on uh, your plan. So I want to have, choose a line. I want to have from this uh, 1 meter. A meter is too much eh? let's have 600 so that means i'll drag this wall up to here and then i'll choose to have a line here to show that is where i have my wardrobe just as simple as that because we are doing 2d 2d drawings so when that is in place and choose to copy this control let's say right click move drag a copy so drag a copy here and then right click select to activate tool then type here built in word wardrobe wardrobe change the pen to let's say 1.4 and drag the text in position we have a built-in wardrobe for bedroom two let's have the same for these 600 let's have 600 here but this one is going to be moved up to that point and then delete this line then we'll have a line from here 
to ear. But I still think that's a small space. We can adjust it. It's too much. That was too much. 300. Yeah, that is okay. So trim that. That's why you're going to have your other wardrobe for the master bedroom. So let's copy this text. Right click, move, drag a copy from here to here. So we have wardrobes in place for those two bedrooms. We'll do the same to bedroom one. So I'll have that line. So this part is where we have our built-in wardrobes. So that's done. Oh, okay, we are done with the furniture for or other objects for, for the three bedrooms. Let's look at the bathrooms. So in the bathroom, we'll need the WC. So back to design, architectural tools, and object. In the object settings dialog, let's search for WC, the toilets. Click on that to select. So place one here. Place another one here. And then let's search for shower. Shower. I love shower cabin. 25. Selected. Place one here. Another one in this bathroom. Go back to the settings dialog for the object tool and search for basin. So I want a wash at basin. So basin, we have which one? One basin counter like that. And I want it to have under basin settings. I want it to have number of basins as, as one. Okay. Put one there. And another one here. So now it's time to customize. So we we'll have this shower selected. Right click, move, and we'll do seat rotation. We'll do let's mirror and see how it looks. And then we'll do control M. Mirror again, like that. Then control D, place it here. Move the window a bit towards this side. Then select this, uh, right click, move, then we'll have mirror, so mirror there. Then control D to drag, and drag it to position. Then we'll have to move it a bit towards this side. So we have shower and we have WC there, then select that and drag so right click choose move and drag to, to position so now we need to rescale it a bit so that it will change up to there then put it the wall like that so for the bathroom we have that we have a washer basin we have a shower, we have a WC. So that bathroom is okay. So we go to the very last part, which is going to be the other bath here. We'll do the same thing. Select this. Uh, Control D to drag, then click. Move your mouse to place it there. And then click and reduce the size of this. Like that, drag it to location. The same thing with uh, this one. Control E for rotate. Specify the rotation line and rotate it by 90 degrees. Control D for drag so that you drag it to position it there. Select the shower. Right click. Move mirror so i'll mirror this i'll do the same mirror mirror it to like that then control d and place it at that point 
so that we have we have the washer basin we have the shower and we have the wc in place so that's that's us done in terms of furniture layout using the objects tool so if you look at our plan now it is more presentable let me deactivate the construction grid display so that you can see what we have we also select these uh, grids and these ones they are part of the structural grid layer so what do i do control l is going to open the layers then i'll toggle this i off to to edit so with that hidden has it been implemented really so that control that structural grid yeah i think z Draw. So I think what we have done in the interior furniture layer. So let's unhide it like that. All we need to do is control L and look for look for the grid structural grid here. Yeah? Hide it. So we'll get to see our plan as it, it is now appears like that. So we have furniture in place. So the next video, I'll show you how to dimension the floor plan before we export this to a PDF and uh, an image file for sharing.